Hey y'all, Data Guy here. So today I got probably one of my quicker videos where I just wanted to show you something that I just kind of whipped up this morning um, that I think is kind of useful if you're interested, like I am, on the intersection of kind of crypto, airflow, uh, and AI. So seen a lot of companies come from the crypto industry, start using airflow to process the massive amounts of data that they're dealing with. You know, naturally when you're interacting with a blockchain, you just need to interact with and collect lots of data around different addresses, transactions, so you can identify larger trends. That's one of the beautiful things about crypto is you have, you know, that full transparency of where money's moving to, what addresses they're doing. Um, and that's why, you know, most of the times when there's a hack in crypto, you kind of generally figure out, hey, this is actually what happened there. Um, obviously, you know, you have things like Tornado Cash that make that impossible for certain situations. But in general, it is a little bit harder to get away with kind of crime and doing things that aren't that you don't want to be tracked um, in crypto than most people think at the start. Um, and so what I wanted to build, um, and obviously use the help of my good handy dandy friend chat GPT for this, is just an operator that allows you to collect information about a given address um, using the Etherscan API. Um, I chose the Etherscan API because it has decent uh, trend, or rate limits. I think you can do something like uh, five requests a minute, which I mean, obviously this isn't a production, but you can upgrade that really easily to get more requests um, relatively cheaply. Um, and it is pretty accurate. I mean, I just always liked using Etherscan, but I wanted to do it in a way where I could take that transaction information and use it as the beginning for a data pipeline. Um, and so what I'll probably do later on uh, after I get back from vacation is actually create a pipeline that's reading these transactions and generating some kind of visualization um, out of them. So you can understand, hey, the bubble mapping of what projects a certain address is interacted with. So you can identify things like, you know, rug pulls, um, bad actors, or even if like, hey, there's a cabal of people that are getting pre-sale tokens and I want to understand, you know, why that happened, right? Um, and you could obviously manually collect this, you know, by just scrolling through their scan, but that is incredibly arduous. So I want to make that a more kind of automated process. Uh, so obviously, you know, there's things like Dune where you can build it, you know, inside of Dune, uh, but I'm kind of taking the approach. I want to be able to build it within the context of Airflow because I'm actually going to hook this up into other systems outside of uh, kind of just crypto. Um, so here you can see it in practice. You have a pretty simple operator that we created. So here you have, you know, your scan transaction operator and this is importing because i'm using uh, an astro dockerized image i have this operators folder here in the plugins um, and so here's where i've actually built the ether scan transaction operator um, so you can see just applying some simple defaults all it's going to take is just an ether scan api key um, and a ethereum address so any ethereum address this could be a token contract this could be a user contract um, so whatever you want um, and so here, you're just going to read that in and knit this um, operator. And then here, the actual execution point. So we're just using the Etherscan API as the base URL. And then what we're passing as parameters, that base URL is just for want to go for an account. Uh, we want a transaction list. That's just a trend uh, action on the Etherscan API. Um, then you have self address. This is where that's being read in during the init. Uh, start block and end block. So this is just saying, hey, read as many blocks as possible. Um, so the entire history of um, the accounts transactions um, sort in ascending order. So you have, you know, first, uh, most recent transactions first. Um, and then the API key again is just the API key that we're going to be giving it um, when we define, when we call the operator. Um, and then that is just going to return it as a JSON response. Um, so you can either, you know, call this into another task just by referencing the TR XCOM of this task. Um, and then kind of my next step will also be making this. Uh, task flow compliance so that you can just reference it using the task flow API, which just makes everything a lot easier. Uh, and so what you can see kind of in practice, really simple declaration. So since I have it in my local directory, just from etherscan transaction operator, make sure this is the same name as the file name here, import etherscan transaction operator. Um, and here we're just defining one task, um, get Ethereum transactions, passing in the first address I pulled off of the etherscan homepage, uh, and then the etherscan API key. Um, and so what this looks like when we actually run it is go in the Airflow UI and then click on the Etherscan operator example, go into our graph view um, and go to our log and then hit XCOMs and boom. Now you can see the output of this XCOM. So the key is just a massive, massive JSON of every single uh, transaction this account has made. Uh, clearly a very busy bee here on this account. Um, 
might be a token deployer. I really, again, did zero research into this account that I'm actually looking up. Um, but you can see here, it will pull all of that information about the transactions for this particular address. Um, and so then the next task is going to be sorting this and creating more of a uh, readable <laughs> visualization of um, kind of this raw output. Um, so stay tuned, gonna try and make this kind of a series as I build, maybe like an app or something on top of this. Um, so I hope you learned something. I thought this was just a cool thing. I wanted to share it. Um, so have a good one. Get a guy out.